Hey everyone, Greg here. If your site's having a hard time ranking or even getting indexed by Bing, here's some tips to consider to fix that problem. The first thing you want to do is go into bing.com and you want to do this command. So site and then colon and then your website name. So this shows me the content that's indexed by Bing. If you don't see anything right here and you've had a website now for a few months and you have, let's say 30 blog posts and nothing is, nothing's being indexed, especially even the homepage, then you know you have a problem. And I'm going to get into that in a second. But what you want to do also is compare that to Google. So go into Google, do site, planlegend.com. Obviously, that's the example. And you want to see how many are in uh, Google's index. Now, if you notice that nothing's in either, you want to check actually the robots text file uh, first. So what I've seen actually from audits is that people have disallowed the entire site. Usually that happens when developers working on it or, or making a new website, you don't want you know Google or Bing to index the content yet because you're creating it. So you disallow it and then you forget to remove it when you launch the site. Very, uh, It actually happens quite a bit. So if you notice that Google and Bing have nothing of your site, check your robots text file. Assuming that there's no problem there. Next, go into Bing Webmaster Tools. So if you don't have this tool, uh, first, I recommend it because it's free. Second, you can import it directly from Google Search Console by verification. So if you've already verified your site through Google Search Console and you haven't done it with Bing, just go to bingwebmastertools.com and you can import that verification directly. Now you have access to your site's data. Now, the thing that I care most about is the index pages report. So you can see that 124 pages, according to Bing, have been indexed. Go to view complete report. And then you can kind of check off all these boxes right here. So again, so for me, my site's about six months. So this makes total sense. You know, impressions are growing, clicks are growing. And because of that, because index pages now are, are within Bing. So Bing, just like Google, crawl uh, discovers, then they crawl, and then they index, and then they rank content, which is why SEO takes a few months to um, see results. And especially for new sites, it can take up to a year to really get that traffic that you're looking for. Now, if you want to inspect an individual URL, uh, I'm going to take this one right here. So this is my homepage. I'm going to go right to URL inspection. I'm going to hit uh, inspect right now. This is going to tell me if Bing has any issues with indexing. Right now, there's no issues with the homepage, which is great. If I didn't put that S under HTTP, there's going to be an error. This error tells uh, me that, hey, Bing has a problem with this, uh, this URL. Now, this one's a very basic one. This is just a redirect that's happening. So a 301 redirect from non-secure to secure. But I did an audit recently where somebody had malware. So when I put in their URL, uh, Microsoft came up with a notice saying that this cannot show up in their results. Um, when I noticed that, you want to go into Site Explorer right here. Site Explorer is very similar to log file analysis. So you don't have to pay necessarily for log file analysis, but I still recommend you do that because um, that's going to tell you a more complete story. But for right here, I've indexed URLs. When I went to theirs, I went to all these different issues right here, like guideline issues, uh, uh, malware, for example. That was the problem that they had. My site doesn't have it. But when I went to this filter by malware report, all their URLs just listed malware, 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 which basically meant that Bing noticed that there was some fishy behavior going on with their site and therefore does not want to show it to their users because they want to keep the web a safe place. So when you notice that, obviously that's the main issue. Uh, a couple other things that you can do too to help speed up the crawling and indexing of your site. So for example, you want to use uh, the sitemap feature. So submit your sitemap to your site. Um, if you use Yoast on WordPress, it automatically creates one. Um, so you want to just kind of grab that, submit it to Bing. What I also do on a weekly basis um, is that if I update, let's say, you know, five blog posts throughout the week, I'll put them into my XML sitemap and then I'll actually resubmit it within Bing just to show Bing, hey, here's the newest um, amount of URLs on the site. Uh, another thing that you can do is, let me see where this one is. I think it's, yeah, URL submission. Now, uh, Bing, my site's so new, it has a cap. I think, yeah, my cap is only 100 URLs per day. Once you get past that, I think the cap's like 1,000 or... 10,000, I forgot what number it is, but after a few months, this number will increase. But for right now, my site's so new, it's only six months. I can only submit 100, but you should get in the habit of taking all of your URLs, submitting them every day within Bing. You're forcing Bing to crawl the site, which is what you want to do. Make sure there's no errors. Um, and then hypothetically, if you had malware on your site for, you know, for example, if you went to Site Explorer and you went to malware and every URL had malware on your site, this is what you need to do. Contact your hosting provider 
uh, have them review. You can actually share with them the specific URLs that Bing has a problem with. They can go in, they can remove the malware that's on the site and any other spam that might be happening. Uh, next, update your security on your site. Buy the most uh, secure version that you can to protect your website from future uh, attacks. Uh, after that, clear your cache uh, for your hosting. Give it about like a week or so. Let Bing's index kind of you know clear that memory of your site, then resubmit it uh, via Microsoft Bing Webmaster Tools, and you will start to see URLs indexed by Bing once that error is removed. If you have any other errors like canonical tags that will come up as well within the URL inspection or redirects or, or no index tags, Bing's very good at that. But hopefully you guys found this video interesting. Let me know if you have any questions and as always have a good rest of your day.